using the um, national map, and I'll put the link in the video description, and I'll probably do a screenshot or a little video of the map that shows the contours of a hillside, and unusually it takes away all the trees, all you see is the surface, and by doing that, I was able to find two mines here, kind of on the left side of Weiss Run, but way out at the front, actually, facing the old Monk Cawthorn place. And here's the first one. The other one's just uh, about 75 feet around that way. I haven't looked at it yet. But when I walked up on this, obviously, it kind of looks like it's open. So we're going to go take a peek inside there, see if it is. This is just right under the rock. There's a little bit of collapse down in there. I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze my camera through that or not. I've got my 12-foot device with me, so I'm going to try. We're going to see if we can slide down in this hole and see if we can see into the mine here. I think it is big enough. I'm filming this in the blind, so I don't know what's down in there. Could just be a collapse. Okay, this is the second time I noticed that it looked kind of narrow there. Hopefully this gets a better angle of what's in there. I'm rotating the camera just to see, since I'm doing this in the blind. I think there's a, you can see some coal over on that side. Notice the lights reflecting off of rocks, so I don't know how that's going to look. Yeah, we're right under this rock cliff. We're going to go in one last time here, fourth time. I just want to show you how small the entrance is. And I noticed, you know, there is a collapse down in there, like a lot of rocks have rolled down. We're not even close to the floor of the mine here. We're probably 10, 12 feet above it. Uh, we're gonna go in one more time and not go down as far. At least we'll get some view. It looks like it's just a mine that goes straight back unless there's some chambers off to the left or right back in there. So you see that collapse right up at the front near the bottom of the screen that's poured into the mine there. Well, the signal's holding, so it's an interesting mine. It does look like there's potentially, you know, a chamber over there off to the right. You see the coal seam there. And potentially a chamber over there. Let me zoom out just a little. I'm saying over there where that wall ends, it looks like there's an opening there. It looks like they left a center seam of coal and rock right in the center for support. So it does look like there's a chamber off to the left and that chamber over there to the right. Unfortunate that that collapse is right up at the front there. The light catches that as opposed to reflecting off the back. And if you look back there, it looks like to the right and the left there are chambers there because it looks like in the dead center of this uh, initial chamber going straight back from the entrance that they left a seam of coal and rock for support. Now let me zoom in a little to the left there. See what I mean? How that looks like there's a center column there. And... Same thing off to the right there. It looks like there's a chamber that goes on around that way. So this may have been a fairly substantial mine.
Yeah, now that I've pulled that back a little bit in the zooming in over there, it definitely looks like there's a chamber over there. I'm coming up to the ceiling right here. Right there. One thing I don't see are any support posts, but it doesn't look like it's a very wide entrance here until you get back into the center there where they left that center support of a coal or rock. So I'm estimating it's about eight to ten feet wide. That may be the reason they don't have any posts, you know, supporting the ceiling. And since they went to the left and to the right and they left that center column, those chambers left and right might not be that wide either where they needed any support post. Right where my ATV is parked, maybe another 10 feet around where that kind of hump in the shadow is, is where that first mine is that we were to look into. This is a little bit better view of the U-shaped depression for the second one. I did kick some leaves around up there and probed with my mining bolt, but looks like there's a lot of big rocks collapse into the center. So at least today I couldn't find a hole there. I have to spend some more time here. Maybe another day. This will be hard to see, but this U-shaped depression here, this is going up the left side there. That's about the top and then down here by this stump. It's the right side. Yeah, there's a lot of collapse in this one. 